Hi and welcome to Kitty Plays Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'm the host for this episode. Last time we were showing off the Trinity of Teleportation, which I'm going to real quick uh, show again. We use Amsleavian Intervention to go to the city, sell everything, use Recall to get back, and we should have used Mark before that to well, as the name said, Mark, where we went, where we stopped. So, this is locked with a lock level of 32. We can't get in there. This is just too bad. Because our lock levels, unlocking skills, that's... I always press T instead of F. This lock is too complex. We are not a sneaky thief type. We don't have a high security skill, and I don't intend to get one. I intend to do this by magic, so this means we need to learn an unlocking spell. Something that we might actually just do, because going back and forth is easy. Just use Elm Seas Intervention. Blam, back at Belmora. Head to the Major Skill, learn the spell. So what I ponder to do is to get a long-lasting feather effect for... 100 points and one minute ish and then just train up to um, get this very strong I also wanted to check I something that I was minutes. suspecting uh, no I'm actually just trying to learn more spells I'm just here to learn becoming a better mage oh okay rank associate so this means that I actually am allowed to use this well, let's see off. Greetings to you, Khajiit. Greetings, Estirdalin. I want to learn some spells. Do you have something to, you know, to, to unlock things? Sound, poison, burden. No, it doesn't seem like it, but you can craft new spells, can't you? I want to, I'm sorry, spell making is the correct button. Because... I want to do feather on self 100 points for and now the duration will greatly decrease as you can see the spell chance and it will make it so ex super expensive okay mm, so if I do it for 10 seconds thing is it doesn't show me how much money I actually have how about 20 seconds so we did now have a negative spell chance that's okay I'm just like creating the spell for now this is and point cost 101 this is something we can't afford at all let me first before we do this before we create a very expensive spell that we will never be able to cast, let me first check something. So we have 79 Magicka, and the thing that I was suspecting is we have this um, this sign which makes um, which makes our Magicka yeah 1.5 times the intelligence, and this is what I wanted to check. It actually fortifies our maximum Magicka, so the regular ways to change maximum Magicka still apply. I just was like um, worried that that with this the only way to increase magic is intelligence, but willpower. Uh, what was it? Um, one of the others should also. No, it actually was just intelligence. Okay, so that it would have that would have mattered anyway. Okay, so we need to change to increase intelligence. So we get higher magicka. So this is something. Can we? Oh, the designer shoes have a light spell on them. How quaint. Okay, so what I want to do is the fe because the feather spell only lasts ten seconds and only gives us twenty points. But I want to mainly learn this and undo this open door which is awesome it is already 50 points so we can use the spell as it is 
And I think also water breathing is something that I want to have. Perfect. Swift swim would also be awesome. So I'm now learning, mainly learning the uh, the spells in to be able to make new ones, stronger ones. But Onduzi's open door should be good enough for us because the, the lock was only a level 35 lock and this is for level 50 locks, up to level 50. So I'm going to go, go back into the ruins. Head back a little bit. Restore the Magicka and unlock these doors. So, this is open door. Oh, it was also just 32, is it? It is on touch. Yeah, that's okay. For for um, an unlock spell, on touch is okay. Okay. Let's get ready to rumble. Quick save, activate our fighting spell. And head towards the left. Just to see if there is an enemy. Yes, there is. And we should have... Magical. Let's just get back and rest because I don't want to burn the potions. So this strong spell only works two times, or it can only be used two times, which is a bit bad. But as you can see, we one hit this dwarven spider and get the scrap metal out of it, and we hear. The next one already around the corner. If I hear correctly, it is to our right, so let's see. It's not there. There is some kind of ghost. Let us be a coward and heal. Yes, we do need maybe more magicka, and as I said, the Items that increase your um, magicka, sadly, these are not effects that last long automatically. These effects get actually drained. And there's another one of these spiders. Well, perfect. Let's head out. I think when the enemies are close enough to the door, they will actually follow you. But I'm not sure it could be that this game does not yet support enemies following you. And not enough magic up, and the enemy is blocked. They, they are blocking each other. So this seems like a dwarven ghost, maybe? Well, um, well, then let's use this. Oh, no effect. I need. I guess I need a silver weapon or something like that to hit the ghosts. I don't know where the enemies are. I guess they are just above or below me or something like that. The game does not recognize that. Ouch. It seems like these ghosts have spell reflection. Well, luckily the game auto saves whenever I rest, so I can just try again. There we go. And what is actually what, what that they do? Oh, drain willpower. Two points. Brave curse. And we get, it is a Dwarven Spectre, and we get Ectoplasm, which fortifies ability. I'm going to dispose of these corpses because they look kind of weird. But I'm going to leave the spider corpses laying there now. Okay, we want to be fully healed before we... Continue venturing further. So to our, and 
there is another of these spiders. One spell is enough. So let's see what. There's another spider. Hello, spider. Bye bye, spider. There are still enemies here, so let's see if we can rest up here somewhere. No, because there are still spiders. Can you can hear them. We definitely need more magic, and I know I'm saying this a lot, but that's just how it is. And yes, I did hear the spider, but we are going to loot the corpse first, but we are heading along the left wall. At least for this ruin run. Let's check what is behind this door. Okay, the ruins are going further. We're going back upstairs. There we go. The specter is done. Of course, there are still lots of enemies here. So we actually are already very powerful, even though we are level 3. <coughs> I'm sorry. I should take my... Um, my antihistamine pills against the um, dust mite allergy. <laughs> I always forget these. And they are actually right here. Let me just take them right now. Just to be on the safe side. Can't forget them then anymore, right? Yeah, that's the root kitty. Taking pills and drinking on stream. Into everyone's ear. Okay, you know what? I'm going to now use the trick or the little hint that I've been given. Let me first check out this room and then see, basically see the map to see if there are rooms going off from it. Oh, ah, the door key, see? I guess this would be would have been the key through the door that we just opened, but we're going to also take it together with that hammer and all of these. Now we're going to just head through this halfway here. Okay, I can hear you, spider. And you didn't notice me before you died. So these are, of course, in later games, way better made. I always thought these spiders are very creepy. Asleep. Okay, so we, we came back to the entrance. We already checked out this area, so I'm now going back and check the other side. So I can, I can hear a spider over there, and there seems to be more enemies. I could even look inside there, and the door is trapped. And there is an untrapped door. Let me just save and then open the door. Okay, so this goes somewhere deeper. I first want to see where this is. I think I, think I should have tried to untrap the door first. I mean, I already 
told you that the door is trapped and then I tried to open it anyway without trying to untrap it. Um, this is a typical thing for me to do, luckily it doesn't do much damage. On the other hand, I'm also playing on a very low difficulty setting, this is why the enemies are dealt with so quickly. But another reason is that magic is very powerful in case we have here two enemies. One of them doesn't fit to the door, which fits me actually pretty well. Because I can just go back. Some kind of humanoid thing on a sphere. And the thing has healed itself, but it doesn't hold two attacks. The Centurion Spider, the door, and the Centurion Sphere. And now we can heal, so now the game tells us that this area is safe. Which is pretty awesome. Yes, I know I can unlock the chest, but I first want to check the kegs. And we have the open door, which unlocks the chest and gives us a Dwemer left bracer, which is very expensive. It is heavy armor, which we are not skilled in. So, sadly, we're not going to use it. Our prime armor is going to be glass armor. And we find some raw ebony and emeralds which kind of confuses me i always thought ebony would was um, a tree is it just a metal in this game or uh it actually confuses me a little bit <clears throat> and i also find it confusing that um that ebony is also a word that is used to refer to people. So this is also something that, um, I mean, I'm not an English native speaker, so I don't quite get the, like, the etym etymology of it. But I think referring to people as ebony is considered like a racial slur, I think, which makes it even weirder. Anyhow, let's check out this area, the deep ore passage. Let's get ready for fighting. Real quick heal. Check out, yes, you can also carry a little bit more. Oh yeah, there is a spider here. Okay. I see you. And there is... As the name suggested, there is a passage there. The name was Deep Ore Passage, and I guess I need to now head back because these, yes, the, this dwarver keg is too. Keg or co cog is too heavy. Yeah, keg is something you drink out of, right? And a cog is a cog wheel. Um, anywho, I need to first mark this area. <laughs> Which is basically rub my cheek against this um, against this shelf, and then use obsidian intervention to get back to the temple. And now that we're back at the temple, we can ignore the lag and head towards our good friend and trader Revere. I'm really curious what awaits us in this deep ore passage, and yes, I don't remember. I am um, actually genuinely curious what there was. No, I want to revere, not into the Mages Guild. <clears throat> so. 
So I have some armor for you there, and but I can sell these to um, our good friend in the major Guild. But not these. I'm not going to use the hammer anyway. And let's do the offer. Thank you. And Azira is going to be very happy at the new ingredients that we found for her. As for alchemy, when I start doing this, I should actually create some kind of alchemy book as the interface is not that um, good for doing alchemy. Tidings okay. and good wishes to oh. your day to you, friend. Ajira, you will be very, very happy. I found some more ingredients for you. Look at this. Some more ash salts, some ectoplasm, emeralds, frost salts, ebony, glass, and scrap metal. Don't ask where I get these, but you know it was very hard to get these, so please can you give me a little bit more than the usual? Thank you. You're such a good friend, Ajira. I really, I appreciate your friendship very, very much. Oh, what can she train me in? Enchant, Conjuration and Alchemy. I could use Alchemy later. But this is just all right. Okay, we're we're out of um, fatigue, so let us just heal and then use recall. Mm, now we got the loading screen. So let's see. This, this does look broken at first sight. On the other hand, I think this is actually meant as a light source. Oh, this this looks yeah like a sphere that hasn't been activated yet. Uh -oh. Run, run, we need to run. I mean, I could use the Yes, I could use exactly that. I could use that spell. Hide away. Go somewhere where I can heal. Is there a bed here also? I mean, I'm a temple member. Rank layman. What is my rank? Can I see this somewhere? Faction temple, rank layman. Perfect. Heal. And recall. Perfect. <laughs> was pretty good actually because now I can rest in here or not rest in here. Oh, the spider is back. Let's try this. Oh, this also makes a good amount of damage. Neat. That is when it hits. There we go. So the spiders actually are something we can also kill with our sword. Good to know. But we want to kill that centurion sphere. So we go back in and then take it with our spark. Sadly, please heal whenever you... Both need to be a hit. And also the reason why I'm leaving the corpses there is to prevent them from respawning. There we go. Which, of course, is just a theory. Ah, it is supposed to be too bad. Which is mainly a theory, but the uh, only way to test it is to try it out. spider walking around even here well there were always enemies here about nearby until about here so now we can get back get 
back. I think this is the wrong way. And down here. Yeah, I accidentally disposed of this corpse. So I expect this to respawn. There is a spider and it detected us. But we can one hit the spiders. How about going a little bit back to heal? No, it doesn't work. Well, we still have one shot left. Let me save. So, one thing I'm going to use alchemy for is um, potions of Restore Magicka. Because buying them is will get really expensive. Okay, now I actually need to run away because I don't have anything to fight the ghost with. Oh no, I don't need to run away. I can use my potion. I was just talking about them. They are actually aiming where I am going. That's interesting. And yes, I know that they have this spell reflection thing going on. But on the other hand, I do save often and I do waste my magicka. safe because the ghost can kill us with a low chance they have this spell reflection thing going on and there you go and it reflected the spell perfectly yes I want to load the quick save one thing that I could do is try using the weaker one because the spark 2 only makes 20 to 50 points damage of course this can also kill us but not quite as quickly I think we need to go downwards. And now we can actually heal ourselves instead. See, this is what I was going for. But of course the spell nearly kills us and it does not <laughs> kill the enemy. On the other hand we also have multiple tries to do so. To kill the spectre. And loot both the spectre and the spider. Okay, I need to remember I don't need to save here. So these ghosts are really a nuisance because they reflect spells. But the spiders don't. So let us just get this corpse here. So is this place? There's water down here, which is not a problem. We can swim and dive, and we can water breathe. This looks like some sort of contraption that I want to see from close up. I want to see if something is down there, but let me first do the water breathing thing. Which would be water breathing on Really cheap. I don't know if I can. If this is also blocked from being cast underwater, like the spark spell was. I mean, it is 
It does make sense that the spark spell doesn't work underwater. Nope, there is nothing down here in the water. There is also nobody here. Okay, people. I would say I'm going to stop here for this episode. Let me just go to a place where we can see the machine because this is quick because there's something here. This is where I would love to be up there. And as you can see there is a lot of things up here. So maybe we can get here by some other means. Maybe not. Oh it even shows us where we did the marking for the recall spell. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to say goodbye for it now and switch over to the dice. You know the drill. The number of the number that I roll with the dice tells you how many days to wait until the next episode. Bye bye.